Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, the Broadband Bully presents to you the Broadband Bulletin Episode 6. And ladies and gentlemen, this saddens my heart to say that Xbox fans are experiencing some issues with their Xbox One X. And I thought this was maybe been a minor issue, but it may be more widespread than we thought. I know two people within the community right now, myself, that have issues with their Xbox One X. Shout out to my man, Greg, the chosen one. Now, I know Greg has a, a road and a pest problem in his home, but he, he promised and he swore to me that he only unboxed the thing for two seconds. He didn't even have it overnight. So the roaches didn't have a chance to get inside his Xbox One X. Eh, my bad, Greg. But anyway, but luckily he was able to exchange it out with Amazon, I believe, and they sent them a new one. But um, there are a few people that are experiencing some issues, overheating issues with the Xbox One X. So I hope this is not a widespread issue. But um, as I always say, bacon, bacon, bacon grease, bacon grease, a bacon, 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 bacon. What's up, YouTube fam? It's your boy Jesse P, and I'm back with some news for you. Call of Duty World War II launched last week to a positive critical reception, and now we know the shooter has succeeded commercially too. During its opening weekend, the game sold twice as many copies as Infinite Warfare did during the same period last year, Activision has announced. The three days following launch saw the new Call of Duty making over $500 million, and its PS4 version is the best-selling digital full game on its first day of availability ever on the PlayStation Store. Our $500 million opening weekend was not only bigger than Thor Ragnarok, it was bigger than opening weekend of both Thor and Wonder Woman combined, said the Activision CEO Eric Heisberg. Well, this is your boy Jesse P, and I want to welcome up next, Xbox Juice. Appreciate that, Jesse. And yes, it's your boy Xbox Juice back on the bulletin after I took a little break, but I'm back with some heat. Everybody needs to recognize that the bullies is bringing that heat. So here we go. EA has just announced that they will be acquiring Respawn Entertainment, the Titanfall makers, for $455 million. Now, let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. This is my opinion on this matter right here. EA needs to let Respawn Entertainment continue to work on Titanfall the same way that they're working on it right now. Don't take resources away from the team that's making Titanfall. I'm a big Titanfall fan. I know Garrett's a big Titanfall fan. I know there's a lot of Titanfall fans out there. So let me know what you guys think about this i know respawn will be working on some other games too they have a vr game that they're working on and a couple other things so let me know what you guys think about this big news from ea picking up respawn entertainment now i'm gonna kick it to my boy the newest bully norton let's go bro why you got that tiny t-shirt on i think i got back from midnight release oh <laughs> Yes, bro, baby, 4K. I know you did not just go out and buy an Xbox X because it got 4K. Uh, yes, I did. Stop it. <laughs> what about the game? Stop it, man. What you mean, what about games? Stop it. I said, what about the game? Man, we got games. We ain't got no about. games, man. Yeah, we do, man. Stop you it, man. You talking crazy, You went out there looking crazy as hell. Bro, you a grown 30-year-old man, and? and you got a button on your T-shirt. Man, bro, you stay hating. Ain't nobody hating on you, yes, man. You Stop do, it, man. man. Oh, you talking about power? Nobody said nothing about no 1080p. Yes, you did. 1080. Nobody didn't say nothing about power. Yes, you no, did. No, I didn't. It yes, always did. been about it, games, man. Never. You always talk about it. power. And we got games. no games. Yes, we do. No, you don't. Name me some. Man. We got Cuphead. I didn't like it. Uh, Halo Wars 2. Didn't nobody else like it. Sunset Overdrive. It don't nobody even remember that game, oh, man. Come on, God, man. Stop. Bro, you do. Bug it. All you talked about was 1080p. 1080p, Never. 1080p, never. Never, never said nothing yes, about no did, 1080p. Man. Yes, you did. Now you don't remember? No, I don't remember. Oh, uh, should I refresh your memory? We'll refresh my memory then. Oh, well, let's go. Let's go. Yo, listen. The Xbox just came out and they got five new exclusives already. Bro, <laughs> who cares if y'all got I five care. new you games who care? release? Who I cares do. about that and they all 720p? What's, what's going with that? Who won't be able to see that? 720p? I can see it. It's all about 1080p. 
Oh my god, here you go. 1080p. For real? 1080p. Man, shut up, man. You too loud, man. You're not about to go, man. You're not about to go, fool. So, bye. My little pony. Hey, Pop Off, the new bully on the block. Seriously, guys, go check out his channel at Pop Off Gaming because he does some amazing content, and I'm glad to see his work come to broadband. Anyways, getting to my segment, I might ruffle some of those PC Master Race feathers. Now, my fellow Beast Fire panel member Deep Batch has made a video comparing the Battlefront 2 on the X to his $1,400 PC, which I believe has the Ryzen chip in it. So. The truth of the matter is that his comparison is a little scary because the X at $500 is very comparable to that PC and it only has a little bit less shadows and maybe it's a little less clear. But at the end of the day, that's $1,400 versus $500. Even if you want to round down his PC to $1,000, that's still twice the amount. So I'll ask you audience, what will people buy? Will they buy the twice as much PC or the half as much console? Will they go with the more familiar product, the convenient product, or will they dive into a whole new world? Whole new world. But that's a question you should ask for yourself. And before you say, well, PC gaming's cheaper, we know we don't pay as much as you guys. Well, that is true, but hey, they kind of discount those games because you guys are busy pirating them. But that's either here nor there. At the end of the day, I'm going to take that convenience, I'm going to take that stable online, and I'd rather play on a fair battlefield, but hey, that's just me. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and pass it off to my next panel member, Marty Moss, so he can give you that inside scoop with that math. Yo, Ness, thank you for that handoff, bro, my man. Yo, it's your boy, the script writer. Dr. Spreadsheets himself, MM2K. As always, we, we got some fun numbers to crunch, y'all. But we all know the initial success of the Xbox One X, as reported at least by GameStop themselves, as their initial supply of launch date was absorbed. It's gone, it's finit, it's out of here, yo. Well, I got some additional numbers to ponder on in light of this, all right? I was told by a very credible source there, depending upon the location, there were anywhere from 20 to 40 consoles at each store launch day. Therefore, let's use a conservative figure uh, based upon that range of like 30, okay? So there's an estimated 4,400 stores in the U.S. alone. So if you do the math, that equals 132,000 potential units, folks. Even if you go with the more conservative figure of 20 units per store, that's still 88,000. Now, why is that important? Because that's only one store. Let's not forget y'all, Best Buy, Walmart, Target, the Microsoft Store, etc. okay? That means that this unit has a very good chance of taking MPD in November. Now, Dr. Spreadsheets himself said that it, you, not to look for those type of uh, overcoming numbers until quarter two, 2018. But hey, you know, based upon this, I'll gladly take the L on that, okay? <laughs> so that's it from your boy, MM2K. Now on to the real masculine. And this is your boy, The Real Masculine, and that's been your Broadband Bulletin. We appreciate y'all taking the time out of y'all day to watch this little video we put together, and we hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, drop a comment in the comment section below, follow all the bullies on Twitter, we'll leave the links in the description for that, and support our Patreon. We're just out here trying to grind, trying to get something together for y'all, trying to give y'all as much content and as much news as we possibly can. Follow us on our streaming platforms, whether that's Mixer, YouTube, or Twitch, or all of the above. And follow our official Twitter account at Broadband Bully. And that's Bully with the I instead of a Y. Because we can. But that's been your Broadband Bullies presenting to you your Broadband Bulletin. And be sure to check out our merch store. We got everything from shirts and hoodies to leggings and mini skirts for the young ladies in all shapes, colors, and sizes. We got iPhone skins, laptop skins, posters canvas prints, mugs, pillows, the whole nine. So if you're so inclined as to rep that broadband bullies lifestyle, swing by our merch store, pick you up something. We appreciate y'all for rocking with us and we out.